Former Deputy Prime Minister and a founding member of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Mr. Lal Krishna Advani, who will be honoured with the Bharat Ratna. Prime Minister Modi made the announcement earlier today on social media and what's followed has been a flurry of memories on the political journey of a stalwart of Indian politics. A man responsible for the present success of the BJP, a man who built the party up from next to nothing in the span of 10 years. Lal Krishna Advani has been pivotal in Indian polity. Today, News X pays tribute to a statesman and a leader as uh, he is conferred India's highest civilian honour, the Bharat Ratna. Before we begin, we have a collection of his most iconic speeches. Listen it. Aam logo mein ye baat phelti hai. Main nahi kehta hoon, lekin maam baat phelti hai ki protect kyu karna chahate hai. Jabki main kehra hoon ki agar hamare bhi koi apradhi hai, to hona chahiye. Ana chahiye saam mein. Darna di chahiye. And this is an occasion. Sir, 2012 ke baat kyu hai? 2012 ke baat kyu hai? Mere nahi samajh mein aata. Hamari taraf se किसी को एग्जेम्प्ट कर नहीं करना चाहिए यह नहीं होना चाहिए कि 2012 के बाद प्रोस्पेक्टिव होगा रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव नहीं होगा पहले किसी ने किया होगा तो करे करे भले और मैं तो इस पक्ष में भी नहीं हूं कि टैक्स लेकर के बात खत्म कर दो डोंट डू इट दंडित होना चाहिए भारत में संविधान बनने के बाद और आज संसद का पहला पहला दिन से लेकर के 60 वर्ष बीत जाने के बाद सबसे बड़ी उपलब्धि आप किसे मानेंगे तो मैं कहूंगा जिस कारण से आज हम यह मन, दिन मना रहे हैं कि भारत एक महान और सफल लोकतंत्र बना है इस उपलब्धि को मैं सबसे बड़ी उपलब्धि मानता हूं इस घटना को ध्यान में रख करके और नौ लोगों की मृत्यु हुई है और लोग सुना है कि 47 जो घायल हुए हैं उनमें भी कुछ गंभीर रूप से घायल हैं उनके प्रति सहानुभूति प्रकट करने के लिए मन का क्षोभ प्रकट करने के लिए और साथ साथ शासन के इस संकल्प को कि हम इन अपराधियों को खोज निकालेंगे उन्हें दंडित करेंगे उसमें सारा देश एक मत है यूनाइटेड है इस बात को प्रकट करने के लिए अगर हम आज सदन की कार्यवाही इसके बाद खत्म स्थगित करें तो उचित होगा आपने उनसे बात बात नहीं की केवल आपने तो उनके साथ बैठ करके ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी बनाई जबकि हमारे साथ तो लोकपाल के बारे में बात ही नहीं हुई पत्र जरूर लिखा था बिल्कुल ये, ये आप आप बात ऐसे कह रहे हैं कि जैसे मानो कि जिस प्रकार का व्यवहार उनके साथ किया वैसा इस सदन के पार्टियों के साथ भी किया नहीं किया इसीलिए मैं जीवन में इन पिछले 50 सालों में मैंने अनेक ऑल पार्टी मीटिंग्स देखी हैं पहली ऑल पार्टी मीटिंग थी जिसमें लगभग सभी पार्टियों ने सरकार की केवल इस बात पर आलोचना की कि आपने बाईपास करके पार्लियामेंट को और पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज को और इनके साथ बैठ करके ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी बनाई राजेश जी राजेश जी यह पार्टी यह पार्टी किस प्रकार की है इसको आपको कल्पना करनी पड़ेगी यह कांग्रेस पार्टी नहीं है इस कांग्रेस पार्टी में क्या हो सकता है यह तो पिछले आपके अध्यक्ष ने जब जिस प्रकार से पूर्व अध्यक्ष को हटा करके बनाया था तब सबने देखा यह यह पार्टी वैसी नहीं है इस पार्टी में मैं मानता हूं मैं मानता हूं कि हमारी पार्टी ही छोड़िए लेकिन हिंदुस्तान भर में भी इस प्रकार का नेता आपको नहीं मिलेगा देश को नहीं मिलेगा राइट मिस्टर एल के एडवानी अ एनर्जेटिक फोर्स ऑफ नेचर हुज बीन कन्फर्ड विद द भारत रत्न प्रणय अग्रवाल पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट विद अस ऑन द प्रोग्राम मिस्टर सुमित पीर सीनियर पॉलिटिकल कमेंटेटर आल्सो जॉइंस अस ऑन द शो मिस्टर अमित जैन हिस्टोरियन विद अस ऑन द शो एज वेल सुमित लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मिस्टर एडवानी यू नो he can not only be credited for uh, creating you know the current avatar that the bjp enjoys but he should be categorically you know praised and appreciated and recognized for the way he has shaped indian politics you know the intellect the critique you know the the fearlessness with which he was able to take on the stalwarts even of the upa was always commendable he in fact wore his heart on his sleeve sumit even when you know the powers that be were against him 
Uh, many thanks for having me on your show. It's 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 a day to celebrate because today the question is not why Alk Advani ji should be given the Bharat Ratna. Today the question is why he should not be given. Who is the better deserving candidate? If it is not him, then who is he? The first major achievement was I remember I was a very small kid. I happened to meet him 30 years back. I was just a kid, and he told something in in person with a meeting of 10, 12 people, which I can't tell on the TV. That was the biggest political reality of India. I mean, he told that you know you people don't have a politic, you don't have a voting value, so nobody is going to bother for you except BJP because BJP is the only party who will stand with you. From two seats to what you have seen today, uniting all the Hindus, uniting all the Hindus was Rath Yatra. We are divided into caste, sects, Yadav, Kurmi, Brahman, then 25 types of Brahman and 30 kinds of Jats. That is what we were uniting the Hindu forces, bringing the concept of Sanatan Dharma talking of Ram Mandir and going swimming uphill against the storm. Look, he was arrested in Bihar. He was put in a jail. He is the person who groomed Narendra Modi ji. Remember at the times of Rag Yatra, Atra, the person sitting next to him is Prime Minister Modi. And that is why Prime Minister Modi today said it's a very emotional moment for me. Imagine a party who is having two seats and from where it went. Now, when Vajpayee ji was a stalwart, who was the who was the foundation behind Vajpayee ji? Who was his pillar? It was Mr. L. K. Advani. Who will Mr. Vajpayee trust? Eyes closed with Mr. L. K. Advani. And let me tell you, Vineet, if I can be direct and candid today, Musharraf in Agra wanted to have his way. His only stumbling block, his only nightmare, his biggest uh, you know biggest uh, mountain in front of him was L. K. Advani. He was scared of L. K. Advani. You know, with this man, you can never ever have his way. The Mushraf tried to play at the same card. Pakistani ji, abhi Pakistan se ho, hum bhi bhama Delhi se hai. He tried all these tricks, but he never had his way. Cut see L. K. Advani. So the kind of regeneration in BJP, the kind of regeneration in Indian politics, the kind of you know, favor he did to country by not talking only about caste and sub caste and uska sub caste and uska work. We are talking of development, we are talking of uh, Hindutva, we are talking of Ram Raj, and we are talking of taking everybody together. Mr. LK Advani is always of the view we should take everybody together. And if wisdom would have played, prevailed, if the Muslim community would have listened to him, that time he was saying, Bhai Kashi, Mathura, or uh, uh, you know, Kashi, Vatra, or Ayodhya, ho jai, then you know everything stems uh, is settled. See the kind of abuses he has got in life. See the kind of things he has got in life. But we need, with such a big political career, not even one speck of corruption, not even one speck of favorism, not even one speck of bhai bati jawad. That is how you build a Kada based party. And he has been somehow the inspiration of Prime Minister Modi, who was with him all the time in the Yatra. It was Prime Minister Modi. Whom does Prime Minister Modi still respect and read out? It's Mr. L.K. Advani. So, what Modi ji is today, he has learned a lot of these traits from Mr. L.K. Advani. And who is the number two generation of L.K. Advani in politics? There's no number two generation of L.K. Advani in politics. That is the greatness of the man. And mm -hmm. this man had the courage to speak the truth. He would speak for Bharat, he will speak for Hindu, he will speak for Sanatan, and he will also talk of development. He was never anti-Muslim. The misconception which is Ad Advani was anti, he was never anti-Muslim. He only and, wanted... And, and, and yet he was, he, he was, you know, indirectly accused of uh, staying quiet during 2002. You see, Vineet, uh, it's not a question of 2002. Let's, let's talk 2002 directly. If there is no Godra, there is no Gujarat. Who did Godra? These people, a lot of them got hanged. You've seen Amit Shah Ji's statement when he said there was this mother and a daughter. The daughter was with in the lap of the mother and they were burned alive in a in a train. And he had to do the Kriya Karma, he has said in an interview with the ANI. So the point I'm trying to quote is when you go through such horrible crimes, when you try to, you know, seal a wagon and try to set uh, flame the car sevaks, then obviously the society will retaliate. Society will, it is bad whatever happened. We are no advocating any violence, but society will retaliate. What will Mr. Advani do? Will Mr. Advani say, okay, it's good to come, come on, echo train, then, then you burn up another bunch of cars, you know, roast them alive, have a mother, a mother and a daughter burn alive. Let, let's see more of those visuals. Look, the secularism of India or cannot be on the, on the behest of Hindus, uh, you know, faith. The secularism on India cannot be on the carnage of Hindu beliefs and Hindu faith. The secularism on India and the equality of India is on the both sides. Tell me, Vineet, if there was no Godra, will there be a Gujarat? After that, another Godra did not happen. Did another Gujarat happen? No, it will mm -hmm. not happen. When there's a collective outrage of the society, it's very difficult to contain that, Vineet. Right. Because people you're you're absolutely right, Sumit. Let me also rope in Pranay Agarwal into this conversation. Pranay, thank you for joining us. L.K. Advani, you know, a name which is synonymous 
with the you know the ideal image you have of a state statesman you know somebody who could in fact communicate have a dialogue across party lines you know he was never virile he was never antagonistic you know he wanted to bring everybody on the table and work out a solution he was very vociferous in his approach you know he was very proud of his hindutva and his legacy is also something which you know is a reflection of the bhartiya janata party that we have today absolutely vineet uh, firstly thanks for having me it's been a while uh, and uh, on an occasion like this it is particularly heartening i would say that uh, you know advani not only has an exemplary contribution to public life from the right wing he has also displayed a very uh, clear commitment to the hindutva ideology so it is very befitting that you know when hindutva power is at its peak in the country a hindutva icon is being honored bjp for instance has been often accused of trying to appropriate non right wing icons you know whether it is an ambedkar or a patel why it even uh, conferred a bharat ratna on uh, pranam mukherjee who was a hardcore congressy right so instead of anybody from the right so finally bjp is uh, honoring and acknowledging one of its own so uh, advani has displayed a I would, should i say an unwavering commitment to the hindutva ideology imagine he joined the rss at an age of 14 today he is 96 so more than 80 years of remarkable commitment to an ideology he's been a lifelong rss worker vini right he swore by this ideology when it was not in fashion the way it is today uh, so today you will find many joining the bandwagon when it is popular but he did so when it was an unpopular choice and he did so unabashed apart from that advani has been a key organization builder for the bjp he not only presided over the jansang but he was also one of the co-founders of the bjp right and in fact he was the longest serving president of the bjp so the bjp that we see today the foundation stone literally brick by brick has been laid by people like advani and vajpayee so he was a thorough organization man who built the bjp from the ground up taking it from a meager two seats in 1984 till the you know 2014 elections till the time he was still active and bjp had a majority of its own finally in public life he has uh, he was clearly a very astute politician mm. he was jailed for the emergency and that is you know was one key moment for the non congress forces that time whether as home minister or deputy prime minister or bjp's official pm candidate uh, he also uh, exhibited or tried to maintain certain ethical standards in public life i would say if you recall he was one of the few senior leaders who resigned as member of parliament when his name figured in the hawala diaries right and of course his biggest contribution has been as the key architect of the ram janmabhoomi mandir movement it was his yatra of 1990 which mobilized hindus both culturally and politically the vhp had been you know trying to mobilize hindus on this issue for a while but it was only when under advani's leadership that the bjp took it on uh, that the it truly became a mass based uh, movement so advani was really the original hindu hriday samrat in that sense absolutely absolutely so, absolutely right let me let me also open mr amit rai uh, jain who's a historian amit are you there with us amit rai are you there okay sumit you know let's also put things into context for uh, the younger generation who uh, maybe do not recognize or realize the uh, kind of uh, contribution mr advani has had to indian politics you know when india gained its independence he was 20 years old in 1948 he was 21 years old when the emergency was declared he was 50 years of age he's 96 just a few years ago he was made a mark darshak along along with another uh, gentleman muli manohar joshi you know there was a furor over that as well that uh, why are these people being put into this category but obviously you know the bhartiya janata party works like an organization that you know does not relegate its elders you know he has been awarded with the bharat ratna and the prime minister perhaps was waiting for an opportune moment which came after the pran pratishtha you see we need question is today what are the contributions of a man the contributions of a man to the politics of the country to the economics of the country to the to the political dispensation of the country and to the defense of the country are phenomenal he is a man who is beyond time you see 96 matlab mahakal ki kripa is living and still fit you see there is some good karma which has prevailed over him and that is why he has been there in a bjp he did the role of a vishwakarma you have to acknowledge that 
he groomed a very very powerful leader which is narendra modi ji you have to acknowledge that and still when there's a lot of issues of national importance and all he is still consulted so margdarshan mandal means where the person is still active and you consult him on a need basis because you know with age and all you also have to go to your grahastha ashram and you have to be more spend more time on spirituality and connecting with the god so that is what we all should do at the right point of time now that is so, because in a cadre based party you would have the newer leadership come up it's not a congress where in your name is a nehru or a gandhi and you might be 96 year old still you are by defect of the president or you are a born or a nehru or a gandhi from the first day of your birth you are going to become the congress president that's not how the bjp runs the most credible part of mr advani is where is his second generation it's not in the party is his daughter holding anything good no she if she wanted she could have hold i mean the, his son in law could be a game changer we have one other son in law by the way i mean who is the game changer he is known for all his games but where is advani ji son in law where is his daughter she is not there that is the beauty of the system that is where the sangh ki shiksha and pariksha comes into picture there is a natural progression of keeping and making way for new kind of leaders to come in where the elders are given their due respect they are consulted as and when and as and where the need arises so the contribution of the man in changing this hindu politics he got was hindu called politics in bihar he had a different brand in up he had a different brand in madhya pradesh he had a different brand and in every district there are different brand of politics the idea was to break up hindus into as smaller fragments and possible and make them relentless and useless 15 8 10 15 percent of the muslim vote will determine everything you know sonia gandhi used to go to imam bukhari to get a fatwa jari to win an election gone are those days gone are those days you know that contribution gives to this man the hindu community sanatan dharma owes him to him and what pranay bhai had made a very valid point look vsp was trying to mobilize people but cultural revolution only is not good enough you need a political backing unless and until culture and politics comes together then a revolution is possible when it was seen as impossible you know advani ji took the onus on him he took the risk of rath yatra rath yatra could have even dismantled advani but he took the risk he regenerated the hindus he was arrested in bihar do you remember the statements of uh, lalu yadav at that point of time how much of insult and how much of personal attacks were done on mr advani and you know the man still continued with his mission of rejuvenating hindutva and in bhagwan shri ram mandir becoming it a national issue becoming a bit uh, making it a issue of hindu pride he is the man he gets the credit if there was no rath yatra if there was no lk advani you would have not seen what has happened today and now people are today irking and getting irritated why is modi taking the credit are bhai modi ji he was next the man who was in that rath all the time even modi ji risked his life he risked his political career he risked everything so how come without the political patronage and political support this moment was possible so if people do not recognize to it and that, that that's their you know mm. that is their mental myopia and okay. tell me if pranav ji yeah, so hold on to that thought let me just quickly rope in i can see amit now amit i hope you can hear me amit rai jain all right we've lost amit again sumit so, continue yeah when i was trying to make a point if pranav babu can get a bharat ratna well done mr sardar patel ji bilkul banta bhai aisi क्या आडवाणी जी ने गलती की है उनको नहीं मिलेगा बिकॉज ही इज फ्रॉम बीजेपी हिज नेम इज एल के आडवाणी ही कैन नॉट गेट इट सो दिस स्टीडियो टाइपिंग एज फ्रेंड इट इज नॉट दैट मोदी जी हैज कम इन टू पावर एंड इज गिवन द भारत रटना इट इज द पर्सन who is deserving to get a bharat ratna there aaye durust aaye obviously if you would have given him the first nmc they are promoting their own kind after giving to a lot of people why doesn't aadwani deserve one that is the first call argument i made if he doesn't deserve who deserves today forget everything we need everybody is talking pro- politics of development across the board who is the architect everybody is talking of hindu vote who is the architect everybody is not talking of ja- jatiwad politics that has been if it rules the architect and you see the regeneration in the hindus after bhagwan shri ram mandir prant pratishtha it's a mandir which belongs to all the india it's a mandir where every hindu from every nook and corner contributed it's a mandir where lakhs and lakhs of people are thronging to ayodhya it's a mandir it is not of any jat or sampradaya it's for the sanatan dharma and the world sanatan at the world has put sanatan dharma in a different road map the person who took that cause the person who worked for that cause the person who wrote everything for his cause was lk advani and the next man his right hand man was narendra modi who is the current prime minister of india so if If these two do not deserve Bharat Ratna. I don't know when Modi ji will get it. In my opinion, he should get it. He is one of the most deserving persons. The way he has elevated the stature of India, 
एल के आडवाणी जी इज द लीस्ट वी कैन गिव हिम आई एम आई यू नो आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टूडे इज स्टिल अलाइव एंड फाइन एंड इफ वी कैन वेन वी कैन कन्फर दिस कन्फर दिस अवार्ड टू हिम दिस विल बी अ मोमेंट फॉर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी करोर इंडियंस टू सेलिब्रेट बिकॉज दिस मैन हैज चेंज द पॉलिटिक्स फॉर यू एंड मी एंड फॉर फ्यूचर इंडियंस टू कम यू हैव टू क्रिएट यू आर ओनली कॉट अप इन कास्ट कास्ट एंड कॉस्ट और अमित एल के अडवाणी or if you've lost amit again prane uh, 10 seconds to you we'll wrap up with your closing thoughts surely we need so i would uh, like to say that uh, of course 2024 is election season so bjp clearly with this uh, conferring of bharat ratna has chosen to dig its heels and project itself as the rightful representative of hindu identity and hindu pride so bjp has put a halo on lk advani with this conferring of bharat ratna and it will definitely capitalized on the construction of ram mandir in the upcoming elections it was advani who was instrumental in bringing hindutva politics to the center stage from the fringes and today even congressees are temple hopping in janeu dhari brahmins of course uh, modi has uh, done well by acknowledging one from his own and uh, you know unlike earlier some of the prime ministers who conferred a bharat ratna on themselves we at least have somebody a uh, uh, senior leader from the right wing whose contribution is being acknowledged hmm. lastly vineet uh, the modi government has tried to strike a fine balancing act by conferring a bharat ratna on both karpuri thakur and advani ji so 1990s if you recollect was regarded as mandal versus kamandal matlab mm-hmm. caste based politics was seen as the main challenge to the rise of the bjp but now modi is trying to subsume caste politics even as it forges a hindu unity across castes hmm. and you know the good indian points, alliance Prane. is also good points Pane. i completely completely senses. concur with you completely Eight concur with you for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon